But right now we want to take you all to Chicago where CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers is all bundled up trying to stay warm there. It looks wet too, Cindy. It is a bit wet. And Maggie, to be honest, I feel pretty lucky to be here this morning where it's only 23. I could be in Fargo where it's negative 19 or Lincoln, Nebraska, where it's negative 5. But as the rest of the Midwest looks forward to that coming cold, we're still dealing with the fallouts from that heavy snow. On a snow slick dinner state in southwest Ohio, four people died when a tanker truck jackknifed into oncoming traffic hitting a bus carrying disabled persons, some in wheelchairs. It is one of the most serious ones I've seen in 35 years. It's, it's, a, it's a bad accident. And throughout the Midwest, the snow totals are piling up. 35 and a half inches have fallen in Des Moines, Iowa already, just a half inch off their average for the entire season. 25 and a half in Minneapolis, Minnesota so far, and winter is just underway. How does this winter stack up compared to normal? Yeah, we're way above it. Here in Chicago, where 20 inches have already fallen on the city's 9,600 miles of roads, they're cutting snow removal costs by going high tech. On my left is my GPS. The greens and yellows are the trucks. City officials track 275 snowplows via cameras and GPS. It allows them to save on manpower and the salt that makes up half the $17 million snow budget. If I plan for the worst, then I'm covering myself. If I don't plan for the worst, then it comes at me, I'm in trouble. And he needs to be planning for the worst because all this snowfall that hasn't been picked up is going to turn to ice. And that's just not just here in cities across the Midwest. As temperatures begin to drop, it's going to be 7 by afternoon here today, Maggie. So we are headed down starting any minute. Enjoy the 20s while you can, Cindy Bowers in Chicago. Thank you. Let's sure. see.